Drip irrigation, how to install a header line. Learn how to install a drip irrigation header line so you can irrigate your garden. Photo and text by LSI Global Greens. Overview. Use drip irrigation to water long straight rows of plants. To install drip irrigation, first install a header line. Next, install a pressure regulator between the header line and the water source. This brings the right amount of water to many rows of plants at the same time from one water source. Why learn about this? Drip irrigation reduces spread of disease caused by droplets from overhead irrigation or sprinklers. It saves water and reduces weed growth. Drip irrigation requires a header line. The header line connects the drip tape to a water source. This farmer installed a header line before connecting drip tape. You can purchase drip irrigation materials from garden stores and online. This drip tape is irrigating a one quarter acre of eggplant. Vocabulary, drip tape is a plastic hose with holes in it that is used in drip irrigation. Header line is the main water line. It connects many drip lines to the water source. Drip tape connects to the header line. You will need a header line. Header lines come in different sizes. You can buy rolls of 100 to 10,000 feet. A flathead screwdriver or a ratchet, a pressure regulator, pressure regulator adapters, brass garden hose adapter with the following size label, three quarter inch FHT by MNPT by half inch FNPT, header line adapter, which is called a threads by barb tubing coupling adapter. You will need a three quarter inch adapter for this header line, plumber's tape, two hose clamps, two to four inch. These secure the end cap and pressure regulator to stop leaking. A farmer installs the header line. What is a pressure regulator? Water pressure is the amount and force of the water that comes out of a spigot or hose. When a lot of water comes out, we say the water pressure is high. A hose has high water pressure. Water from your hose is too strong for your drip irrigation tape. By itself, water from a garden hose or spigot will break the small holes in your drip tape and it won't work anymore. To fix this problem, use a pressure regulator. The regulator will slow the flow and pressure of the water so your drip tape will work and last a long time. The pressure regulator connects a water source to the header line. How to assemble the pressure regulator. You must use plumber's tape when you connect metal to plastic. Put plumber's tape around the garden hose adapter. Use plumber's tape on the threads of the hose adapter. Twist the garden hose adapter into the water source end of the pressure regulator. Twist header line adapter into the header line end of the pressure regulator. The pressure regulator is assembled. Prepare the garden area. Remove debris from the garden, plant material, rocks, trash. This garden is ready for the header line. Put the header line on the ground and line it up with the length of the area. The header line connects to the water source. So put your header line close to the water source. Cut the header line at the opposite edge of the garden. Insert staples on both ends of the header line to secure it. A farmer lays the header line on the edge of their garden area. 
How to connect the pressure regulator to the header line. Put a hose clamp over the end of the header line that is close to the water source. Push the pressure regulator into the end of the header line. Twist to secure. Use a flathead screwdriver or ratchet to tighten the hose clamp. This stops leaks. Tighten the hose clamp to secure the regulator. How to close off the end of the header line. Put a hose clamp on the other end of the header line. This is the end furthest from the water source. Push the end cap into the header line. Twist the end cap to secure. Tighten the hose clamp with a ratchet or flathead screwdriver. Now the header line is secure and will not leak. Tighten the clamp to prevent leaking. The pressure regulator is ready to go. Now it is time to install the drip tape. The pressure regulator is connected to the header line and the water source. It's ready to go. Comprehension questions. One, what do you need to install a header line? Two, explain to your friend how to install the header line. Three, where will you place the pressure reducer? Four, why do you need a pressure reducer? Acknowledgements, funded by the Office for Partnerships and Public Engagement at the USDA. Text and photos by Sam Miller at LSI Global Greens. Edited and produced by ISED Solutions. Protected by Creative Commons License.